when it comes to building a website that sells, I would put them secondary to the B, which is they will probably never, ever, ever talk to prospective account holders that are in their ideal buying persona. And because they're never going to do this, that is what creates the greatest blind spot right there. And then maybe there's a C to all of this is they're, they're not going to objectively, that's the keyword, objectively benchmark their buying experience against third-party competitors, other financial brands, whether that be at a national level, a local level, or a fintech digital neobank level. And when you think about all three of those points, blind spots will definitely be a hindrance for them going forward that will cost them loans and deposits. Yeah, and I think that's uh, that's where my questions are. Like, okay, you're getting ready to build a new site. Like you said, you're going to have a big sit down meeting with your key stakeholders, probably bring an agency in. Everyone's going to give their input on what they think should be on the new website. But where is this all coming from? You know, we talk a lot about just having these uh, beautiful, wonderful websites. You know, it's like an art project and that's what everyone's kind of approaching it as. Uh, We want to win an award and many, you know, in some cases you have, so you, it's almost like you want the latest and the greatest and the newest, but for what purpose, you know, is the purpose to be beautiful, grab attention, look nice. Okay. Well then continue on with the way you're, you're going about this is the purpose to drive leads, increase conversions. Um, well, it's going to take a lot more than a beautiful website. Pause on that, Audrey. I want to hop in because once again, this hop is in. about perception, which is the sum of context and framing because someone might be watching or listening and think, oh, of course we want our new site to drive more conversions. In their mind, conversions are for loan applications or deposit applications. But within the banking on digital growth methodology, we're looking at additional conversion points throughout the buying journey, throughout different stages. I think about a conversation with a SVP of marketing who has recently attended one of our roundtable discussions. Um, She's going through this very process right now, and she attended the roundtable to gain some perspective into what questions that she should be asking. And I ask her, well, what is the what is the perspective of the website today? What is the role, the job of the website and the perspective and the belief of the website from other key stakeholders within the organization, i.e. outside of marketing, whether that be on the leadership team or within specific business lines, is that the website is just an informational resource. It's a, it's a place where mm-hmm. people can go to get information about their products and services. And this particular organization is around $3 billion in assets. The belief that others have within the organization, as it stands today, is that this is not a sales asset. This is not a sales engine. This is just a, for lack of a better word, it is a glorified online brochure. And we know how much belief is going to drive behavior when it comes to the next iteration of this particular organization.